everybody good, bro. Yeah. We don't see you, but whatever. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahshai, Ba'ashim, and Kakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well. Shalom to the Akim scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim that be like unto the speck bird. We say Shalom to y'all out there. Good job, my twin AD. Amos 3 and 6. Right, uh, this is, uh, Jeremiah chapter 28 and verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and, and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Ah, so that's what the prophets are here to do. You know, the Lord set up his servants to, uh, uh, to prophesy against this place. Before the Lord brings evil, before the Lord brings evil, because he's a fair judge, he always gives a warning, man. All right? So the problems are here before this kingdom falls. It's the book of Amos 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people will not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and Yahweh have not done it? Surely Yahweh will do nothing but he revealed the secrets unto his servant the prophet. Ah, so the prophet, hey, when, when evil comes, the Lord is the one that's doing it. Alright, and he lets his prophets know, man. Alright? Hey, before we went to slavery, alright, before Greece, before Babylon, before Rome, the Lord warned about all that, man. It was already prophesied. This one, this one, go up in the Amos. It's Amos uh, 3. Uh, we started one. It say, the Lord always been told us before we even went to any captivity. Alright? He said, Hear ye this word that Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the lands of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities, right? So the Lord, he was warning Israel, right, before, before, uh, uh, and how did he do that? Through the men of the Lord, right? Like Jeremiah, before we went to captivity in, in, in Babylon, who did the Lord send? He sent, he sent Jeremiah, all right? And then we went into, and, and, and went into, into ba Babylonian captivity, all right? What happened with, uh, with, with Nineveh? The Lord sent, uh, sent Jonah, man. To prophesy against Nineveh, man. All right. So the Lord always sent His prophets right before the fall of a kingdom, man. All right. You know, hey, 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 that's just how it is. You know, hey, because then, then you can't say that you didn't have a warning, man. And the Lord actually tells you, all right, uh, uh, why you, why you going down? Just like the writing on the wall. Many, 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 many take it, take it. All right. You know. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter 44, verse 24. Thus saith the Lord, thy, right, thy Redeemer, and he, that, and, and he that formed thee from the womb. I am the Lord that maketh all things, that stretches forth from the, that stretches from forth the heavens alone, that spreads abroad the earth by my soul. Verse 25. That frustrates the, the token of the fire that maketh the miners mad. That trust the wise men backward and make it their knowledge full. Verse 26. That conformeth to the word of his servant and conformeth to the counsel of his essence. Right, so the Lord, and he sent his prophets up there, so he confirms the things that he used to say his prophets to say. And the Lord said he's going to do it. Just as the Lord told Moses who was once in his captivity, we're here. And the Lord has promised that we're going to get delivered from his captivity. That's what he can ice that 10 and 5. Alright? So the Lord will not leave us here, man. And the Lord put us in the hands of these folks. In fact, it's a scripture you see. It says, it is like, no, because of that transgression. The Lord put us in this captain. Alright? We didn't just thought you were mighty and you, you brought us down. It is just some strong works by your own hands. No, the Lord did this, man. And the Lord is going to redeem us. Keep going.
that said to Jerusalem, Thou shalt be inhabited, and to the cities of Judah, ye shall be built, and I will raise up the decayed places thereof. Come on, there you go. So we're going to be inhabited, man. We will be built again. All right, it says for a small moment the Lord hid his face. All right? We moved the Lord to wrath. All right, so even I put us in that, uh, let me grab that root four. What? Number four. We'll say, uh, we move the Lord to wrath. Yeah. He's not selling to the kingdom. Yeah. I get it. I'm going to hit the Titan 10. Isaiah 10 and 5. Oh, Assyrian. The rod of my anger and the staff of their hand is my indignation. I will send him against the hypocritical nation, against the people of my wrath, and I will give him a charge to take the spoil, to take the prey, to tread them down like the mire of the streets. Hey, so we sin against the Lord, and the Lord put us in the hands of the, the modern day Assyrians. All right, that's not talking about uh, uh, the actual land of Assyria. All right, because we read through this, hey, we didn't get, we didn't, the Lord didn't redeem us out of Syria captivity. All right, we, it went from Syria to Babylon, which Babylon were the Assyrians, all right, as well. Then from Babylon, we went to uh, 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 Elam, all right. Then from Elam to Persians, we went to Greece and from Greece to Rome. And the hell, after Rome, we had the uh, Byzantine Empire was still Rome, but that was niggas ruling, and we still was in captivity, man. Yeah. Other other niggas, captain to, to slave, uh, slave, captain to sin, man, and wickedness, you know, oppressed by all people. All right, but go ahead. Verse seven. Howbeit he meaneth not so, neither doth his heart think so, but it is in his heart to destroy and cut off nations, not a few. For he saith, Are not my princes altogether kings? Is not called no or uh? Carchemish is not Hamath as Arpad, is not Samaria as Damascus. As my hand hath found the kingdoms of the idols, whose graven images did excel them of Jerusalem and of Samaria. Shall I not, as I have done unto Samaria and to the idols, so do to Jerusalem and her idols? Right, so that's that Esau thought. Look what we did to all these other nations. It's no difference with you Israelites, man. He thinks. Like, because we serve the idols. Meanwhile, we serve the truth of the power. Hell, the truth of the power was the reason you got us in captivity, man. Not by your own strength. They keep going to say that. Therefore, it shall come to pass that when the Lord hath performed his whole work upon Mount Zion and on Jerusalem, I will punish the fruit of the stout heart of the king of Assyria. Right, so the Lord did this. He said, once he was done punishing us, you better believe he was going to punish the proud king of Assyria. You Edomites, man, you rulers. All right, modern day Assyria. All right, because Isaiah 19, it lets you know it's, it's talking about Assyria and Egypt. Well, Revelation 11, 19 calls this what? It calls the new Babylon, spiritual Egypt. All right, yeah, that's why it's called Babylon, which would be Assyria as well. Go ahead. Uh, and the glory of his high looks, as I right. saith, by the strength of my hand, I have done it. By my wisdom, Speak up a bit, huh? and by my wisdom, for I am ruined, and I have removed the bales of the people, and have robbed their treasures, and I have put down the inhabitants like a million men. Right, that's what he's saying. Look, the mic, look how strong we are. We come to this, we did that. Yeah, but the Lord said that, that that's a proud man. All right, because the brother was to keep reading. You figure out some water. You don't have a proud man. And he, he said, did not. This is Isaiah chapter 10, verse 14. And my hand has found as a nest the rich of the people, as one gathered eggs that are left, have I gathered all the earth. And there was none that moved the wing, or opened the mouth, or peeped. Right, and it says, you know, lift up uh, uh, to the heavens. You're so proud, you really think you did this by your own wisdom, by your own strength. All right, you really think you conquered us? And look, this, this is common sense. Look around. 
the best at everything out of Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latino, Native Americans. We're the strongest and we're the smartest. Regardless of what you try to push on uh, mainstream media, all your inventions, niggas were behind it. You just got the credit because you're in power. All right? It's like the set, you know, uh, um, the real McCoy. The, the saying about the real McCoy was about an Israelite, all right, who made, I forget what it was, you know, I forget the product he made, all right? But Esau basically was knocking it off, and it was like, is this the real McCoy? Is this what he actually made? You know? That's the only time that happened, man. Who was that, um, uh, Franklin, Benjamin Franklin, was the head of the goddamn uh, patent department. You better believe a lot of Jake Patton's got stolen like that, man. And, and he got all this credit to being this wise dude. Man, Jake, hey, it says uh, uh, our labors were not accounted for. Keep going. All right, come on. Uh, verse 15. Shall the act broke itself against him that you was there with? Or, or shall the saw magnify itself against him that's taking the thing? Right, that's like you chopping down a tree. And the axe look at you and say, no, I'm wrong, stop. look at all this shit I'm chopping. Without no help. I'm doing this all by myself. Without no help. <laughs> you keep going out. Uh, as if the rod sh should shake itself against them that lift it up, or as if the staff should lift up itself as if as if it were no wood. Verse yeah. Verse 16. You are a tool in the Lord's hand. All right? You are the weapon the Lord chose to use to take us down. Hey, with the, All right? The scripture say with the Lord, uh, 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 Esau is the rod of it, his indignation or Assyria. That, that's uh, what we at. That's the spirit. So, so the Lord so, so, the, so the Lord referred to Esau as, as, as his rod. Yep, so as like, a sword. Yep. You, you know what I'm saying? So so the rod don't swing itself. Somebody got to be swinging that rod. And the Lord said he sent, he sent Esau against us, man. A nation whose uh, a tongue you shall not understand, man. That's right. They should not regard a young, neither old, man. And look who's ruling. And who put that spirit on them to not regard young or old, the maid? Who put that spirit on them? And how about Shemel Shai, man? Because he made them like that, man. All right? You know? Hey, 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 uh... Like your mother said, man, they, they feel like they did it all by themselves. Like the scripture also say, the pride in thy heart has deceived thee. All right, he's all so proud. All right, these motherfuckers feel like they didn't conquer the world by themselves. All right, that's the same thing that, that happened to, uh, who was it, uh, uh, Heaven the Messer, down like a dog. Yeah, the same thing that happened to Heaven the Messer, man. He said, he, he's the most high, man. And what happened? The Lord brought him down low. All right? But the Lord put him in that position. All right? Uh, and, and the Lord showed him. And, and he came to his sister. He said, show me the most high. He's the power, but he ended up still dying, man. The Lord still killed that man. Yeah, he said, the most high ruled for the king of men. Good God. He uh, uh, set up the basis of men, you know? Yeah. So the Lord humbled him and still off his ass. <laughs> well, he, no, he was cool. He got back, he got back his kingdom. Oh, so lucky. He got his kingdom Which back. Which one was his grandson? Antiochus. Yeah, Antiochus. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. He tried to repent, but the Lord ended up still smoking. All right. Yeah. He got it. All right, fine. Verse 16. Therefore, shall the Lord, the Lord of hosts, set up on his fat ones, leanness, and under his glory, Kindle a burning like the burning of a fire. And that's what time we in, man. That's why we see the economy crashing. That's why we see the glory of America be spewed on, all right? The nation that the, the world looked to, all right? The, now the nations are scoffing this damn thing. Now they say, hey, we are strong too. Now they threaten this place with war and missiles, man. Yeah, even if they're, hey, yeah, even if they're rushing on, he was ex president, I believe, of Russia, ex ruler of Russia. He had some prestige. He started to go revelation talking about America being set on fire, man. And he said, he said, in their clean houses. Right. He said, the, the, their concrete shall melt. Yep. <laughs> you and, know what I'm saying? And Russia's been had that spirit of Russia's that damn revelation. But let's talk about the small nations that's talking shit. Like the Philippines. 
like China. They 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 was ready to to, to uh call the shit with uh Pelosi, act of um, act of aggression. They threatening this place, man. Yeah. You got these other countries that's that's saying fuck your sanctions. They still doing business with Russia. <laughs> that's part of prophecies, man. It, it says good. Russia will be a guard to them. You know, World War Three is inevitable. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. That was right, man. All right. This is Joel three and ten. Beat your plowshares into swords, and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say I'm strong, and all the nations are, are rising up against Esau. Because we understand after World War II, after the, the bomb like dropped in uh, Nagasaki, Hiroshima, and all the nations was intimidated was by, by, yeah. by the United States. Man. Yeah, they said, who can make war with the beast? That's what it's that revelation. That's like, who can fuck with that weaponry? Yeah. But yeah. now they all got the blueprints. They all got the raw material. You know. And like it says in Revelation 17, he's titrate the horn. But above that, it says that the, oh, below it, it's like, uh, it, it says the Lord put on the minds of these kings to give the, the men over to the beast for a period of time. The Lord made the nations agree and bow down to America. It's like the Lord is having nations rise up against America. It's like the Lord put us in the captivity. He's taking us out of captivity. He's taking your ass down. It's like, it's crazy. These other nations get built up by America. Because of America, you know? So really, it's got them and they falling into their own ditch. Because the same nations that's coming up against them that they was in league with, like the scriptures talk about, the ones that was the Confederate against them is later ruin up them, man. That's right. All these nations that America helped build up these nations, it really the whole world, man. Yeah, he got them rich. He got them rich. Hey, he, he, he uh, America was, uh, uh, it's, it's really a fucking, uh, a consuming country, man. And the whole planet, all these other nations got rich off America, man. Yeah, that's why it's still tolerating this bullshit. But it's like a, it's a love, it's a love, it's a love hatred thing. Yeah. Like we hate this devil, he's the fucking devil. He's fucking us all up. These deals biting us in the ass. But it's like we can pay. That's why I said they will look at they will look yeah, 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 for yeah. will. You know, they said, who's gonna buy y'all our great goods? Nobody, we get them for free. You gotta bring that to us free. It's ours. The whole world is ours, man. Yeah. Right? It was ASL was made for our sakes. Starting with our king, Yahweh Shai. It says all things are made by him, for him. So that's ours, man. We're gonna get our cup cut off top. It's like you got it, doesn't that more than uh, yeah. uh verse eleven, assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen and gather yourselves together round about. Here because thy mighty ones to come down on Yahweh. Let the heathen be wakened and come to the valley of Jehoshaphat, Yahweh Shabbat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. All right, and the Lord has gathered all the nations just so you can submit all the heads. All right, that's why Yahweh Shabbat was a revelation. All right, he had all the crowds on his head. That symbolizes all the nations that he took down. So he went for a conqueror. That's right. Man, I mean, all these nations are rising up right now, man. All right, everybody is it's really, it's really chaos everywhere, man. It's chaos everywhere, man. Not only is other nations dealing with uh different wars and rumors of wars and, and falling of economy, but then you have little little specks and spritz inside of the countries, uh, within the people that's uprising, complaining about what's going on, man. All right. So, so not only is 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 these uh, is a war going on, it's many proxy wars inside of these countries, right? And, and, and just like it will be in America, man. Just like you saying over there, you know. Uh, you gotta speak up. There's a lot of voices out there. Just like you saying that uh, what happened over there in Lebanon, you know that Lebanese woman, you know she uh, went inside that place. Let's they thought, up. you know, that uh, Lebanon lady, she went inside that uh, store or some type of bank, you know, she had like a, uh, some type of uh, pistol on her, but come to find out it wasn't a pistol though, but that shows you uh, the signs of the times that they're 
desperate for their money and stuff. And then she was trying to get some money out of her bank, her own money. And it was reported like 13,000 over a uh, year of uh, uh, Lebanese currency. And then they told her she couldn't get her money out of there because she was trying to uh, get the money to, uh, for, uh, for her, uh, I believe, for her daughter or her mother or something like that because she was a cancer patient. And then she couldn't uh, hold her patients no more. And then she just lost her. Like, hey, I want my money. I got this gun. I'm sitting on top of the desk thing. I'm demanding. Uh, I'm demanding. So, you know, she was she was demanding money and stuff like that. So that's uh, showing you a signs of uh, the times that we are living in. And that's coming to uh, straight to Babylon the Great. You know? nah, yeah, people are on edge, man. Right. Yeah, they already ready to go crazy, man. Hey, what's that second address? Uh, uh, because great tribulation. If a brother can get that, the houses shall be spoiled. All right, hey, because it, hey, right now, you, so to speak, still got your green tree going on. All right, you still can go to the store. You still can get your wine. All right, you still can have your, 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 your delicacies. All right, but it's going to come to a point in time where all that's going to stop. All right, what, what would make the president come up with something called Biden books, which is a digital currency, all right? Who will make them come up with that? Because this is a fall coming, it's a crash coming, which is, which is uh, the currency is just gonna drop, all right? One day it's gonna be worth something, the next day it ain't gonna be worth shit. And we'll show you that they're getting ready for the MOTP, all right? What's gonna lead up to that, man? They already got the R's like the, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, you know, they already got the technology set up for it, all right? So the only thing they really need to do is implement, implementation, implement, implement, man. All right, but yet our people, they don't even see what's going on. They, you know, and even if they did see it, they're not going to hearken to it, all right? You know, the scriptures also talk about how the Lord is going to send plagues, but yet they shall not uh, call their sins to regard. They, they still going to be uh, increasing more and more. You know? Matthew chapter 24 verse 21 and it reads for then there shall be great insurrection as was not since the beginning of the world this time no ever shall be right because we seen uh, increases of uh, great tribulations like we've never seen before and these things are definitely going to increase increase more and more and more you know that uh, nations rising up against nations kingdom against kingdoms these uh, earthquakes in diverse places Hey, these earthquakes been been crazy like a mug. And then just like they had that earthquake over there in uh, California, this was like the second time an earthquake happened over there. So the Heavenly Father is definitely shaking this earth. Like it said, Isaiah 29 and 6, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord with host, with a storm, the temperature, of flame, and the fire, the fire fire. And then you see an earthquake, earthquake and a uh, volcano erupts. You see a heavy drought. So, hey, this is the signs of times that we are living in. You know, that's sedition among men type spirit. Uh, as you go into the book of Mark 3 and 25, hey, you see this uh, Edomite over there in Pennsylvania. He had a little pistol on him. He had a little red clown, uh, a brown, uh, clown wig on his head. He's talking about uh, he's trying to restore Donald Trump. Hey, that shows you that the upworlds of the people in the world, that sedition among spirit. And the love of many should wax cold. America is divided in all the different types of aspects. You got some shit called a gender war. You got people with different beliefs. All right, so, uh, hey, this place is finished, man. The nation is divided. I'm going to read this second. Let me see. Really, you can start at 11, but verse, not, verse 21. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Behold, victual shall be a so good cheap upon earth that they should think themselves to be a good king. Right, so you, you see, 
surprised that things really ain't shot up yet. I can come, you can come <coughs> next year, all right? And, and maybe before that, I when the, when the slaughter, when they start slaughtering the, the cattle and the chickens, all right? But uh, because the feed went up, all right? So the price hasn't adjusted yet because you still eating old, uh, old uh, uh, slaughter, all right? What's gonna happen when, uh, when, when that new, uh, when that new, uh, 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 that new slaughter come in, man, the price is gonna go up, man. All right? Hey, you might, uh, ground beef might be $15 a pound, man. $20 a pound, man. All right? Chicken might go up, all right? Uh, 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 goddamn it, it's already expensive. All right? It might go up to, to, to $30 a pound. I right, just imagine different cuts and you want different special cuts. That's going to be more expensive. All right? But people, they're not even taking it to heart. They're not paying attention. They're not, they're not right. They, they, they ain't paying it, attention. They're going. still giving over to marriage and doing, living it up. All right? Yeah. Partying, getting yeah. into that raviness, trying to go to the club and trying to forget uh, 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 their sorrows. <laughs> but the whole time, the whole, the whole, everything is going, the shit about to hit the fan. All right? It's bigger things to worry about, man, than, than, than fucking going to the club, man. Or the or the new the new pair of J's that's finna come out. Or goddamn it, uh 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 whatever some celebrity doing, man. And they put all these distractions in your face to keep you to keep you away from me to notice what's going on, man. Uh -huh. that's a little so you throw little distractions and then when it comes it's like that. Right, it's it gonna hit from. you across the face. No, no, no. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be a good case. And and to be honest, mm -hmm. and look, this this has been happening for a long time now. He's not been gonna borrow time. They've been playing with numbers, <laughs> keeping it down. Cause 2008, remember 2008, the the house the, the house the house might be crashed. All right. And these saw cap prices pretty pretty low. That's what that's why the five dollar foot came out. People can yeah. still afford food. But they don't got that no more. Nope. Alright? Nope. Yeah. They got them got a dollar million no more. They doing their arms to keep it as low as possible, man. But but it's going out the window. And now look at really what people buying is noodles and D grade meat and shit, man. Yeah. Cause those prices are changing, man. It ain't, it ain't hit hard. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it, yeah, it ain't hyperinflation yet. But the inflation is already happening. The prices are already increasing. Really, the value of the dollar is going down. It's making it like the like the prices are going up. But soon it's gonna hit hard, man. Wait till that gas tax is back and put in place, man. Hey, hey, hey wait to see if this strike really go through. Like, wait to see if this strike really go through. Oh, no, they they came up with a. Uh, they found a solution. They found a solution. Okay. They must have stayed today? Yes, they did. So that's uh, why yeah, uh, yesterday around uh, I'll get the order. So that's why you're seeing these uh, consumer spending is starting to continue to increase. Just like the consumer spending in the month of June was a uh, 9.1 percent, 8.5 percent in July. Now in the month of end of August, when the uh, report came out, you know uh, these uh, consumer spending going to continue to rise. The stock markets and the uh, Nasdaq and the S&P 500, all that's going to continue to uh, crash. They were saying that uh, the Federal Reserve, they did like a tax hike increase. They were trying to see to like find continual ways to uh, ease the inflation. When they was talking about they uh, going to put the economy to the aside just to lower the inflation. Just like Joe Biden came with that uh, inflation, inflation pact, which is, which is not even working. Inflation is going to continue to go off the roof. It's not only going to affect uh, here in uh, Babylon, Greece, but globally as well, too. And I was seeing something over there in Denmark. They had it, uh, so they had like a, uh, they had like a, uh, inflation over there in Denmark. It was the highest uh, in the wild. It was like 10.5%. Uh, so these uh, gas prices are going to continue to go up. The inflation is going to continue to go up. Consumer spending is going to continue to go up, so they trying to be in that piece of safety type mode, which is important for us. That's all these bad people.
that that's that land that you read about in that uh, Isaiah 10 that, that my shot read. Real quick, just, just quick titles, right? Retail sales grow sluggish in August as consumers fight to keep up with inflation. Motherfuckers ain't got the money to keep. Hey, uh, it was articles. You know, I think we, I think I did the lesson. It came up, but in case I did not miss it anyway, again, it don't matter. But uh, like Target and Walmart, they all make they they're noticing that people are now buying the off-brand items. They can't afford the main brand ones anymore. You know. It's a, it's a lot really going on, man. This says, uh, this is another title. Ray Dalio says higher interest rates to squash inflation could take stock prices by 20%. So they, they, they going back and forth. They raise the interest rates, try to fix inflation, but that's not helping. All right? It's going to, hey, no matter what decision they make, they're going to shoot themselves in the foot. <laughs> interest rate goes up, maybe inflation goes down. Or inflation goes up and the people are too broke to... To, to spend money either way they're hey you're fucked america's through man J james the fifth chapter war to the rich man how you rich man god god it's the second address 16 i'm gonna start at 17. woe is me woe is me who will deliver me in those days the beginning of sorrows and mornings the beginning of famine and great death the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear the beginning of evils what shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine and plague, tribulation, anguish are sent for scourges for a minute. So all of these things are happening, but yet these people, our people are not gonna turn from their wickedness. So you get jacked up and you don't even, you don't even understand why you're going through hell when you're doing something that, that, that the, the, the heavenly father told you not to do, all right? You make sport of sin and think it's, no, it's, think it's not gonna be a, a, a punishment that comes from it, man. All right. Hey, like 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 even Esau tell you, for every for, for every action, there's a reaction. All right. So if, if you do something, that's gonna be something that's gonna that's gonna happen because you've done it. All right. It may not happen immediately. All right, but it's gonna catch up to your ass. All right. It says, uh, behold, famine and plagues, tribulation, anguish are sent for scourges for a minute. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. All right. So even though even though all these things are happening to y'all, I right, and it's finna get, it's finna get uh, crazy as hell. I right, because the scriptures talk about if they do this in a green tree, what shall be done in the dry? All right. So if 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 y'all ain't got no damn sense right now, what's gonna happen when you can't go to the store and get your and, and get something to eat? Or when you can't, like the scripture say, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, man. What's going to happen when you can't do that? What's going what's gonna to happen when these niggas can't get their drugs, man? They can't get their lean. You can't get your uh, your Xanax, which which ain't nothing but another form of heroin. All right? All right, because most of these drugs, these opioids, ain't shit but heroin. Well, yeah, it's opioids. That's where heroin comes from. Right. So, so, so you niggas walking around dope heads, all right? You think it's you think it's fun to be a damn dope head, all right? But what's gonna happen when you don't have your drugs? And hey, they show you in the movie. They show you in the movies what happened uh, when you don't get your drugs. I got these cheeseburgers, all right? What's gonna happen to you women? You know, it's a. Uh, uh, it's verse 21. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon the earth, they shall think themselves to be in a good case. And evil then shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. All right? It says, uh, For many of, of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the other <laughs> and the other that shall, es that shall escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. So, so if you manage to get you some food, you gonna get your ass mowed down. Somebody gonna kill you. You ain't gonna, you gonna end up getting put to death. All right? You're not gonna be able to escape the judgment of the Lord, man. Oh yeah, how about Shem and how Shai, man? The true power of heaven and earth, man. Not Jesus. All right? Not that blonde haired blue eyed nigga, man. All right? We're not talking about him. We're talking about the art. The scriptures say that the Lord is an austere man. And hey, Matthew 10, 34, our Lord himself said, think not that I can't bring peace on earth. 
I came out to bring peace, but a sword. All right, Luke 12, I believe it's 1249. Our Lord also said, I wish the fire be already kindled when he comes to visit. <laughs> so what, what that means is going to be chaos on the earth, man. There's going to be afflictions on the earth, man. There's going to be troubles, tribulation, violence. Thus with violence shall Babylon fall. All these things must happen. You got something? Verse 23. And the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them. But the earth shall be wasted, and the city, and the city shall be cast down. So that means it's just gonna be dead bodies just laying in the street, man. Alright? Ain't gonna be no funerals. Alright? It's just gonna be you gonna be walking down, you're gonna be walking over bodies, man. Alright? Hey, hey, what, what, what's gonna happen when they don't have money to pay the police? Alright? They already tell you in January 1st what's gonna happen. Alright? What's gonna happen when they, when they can't pay the paramedics? What's gonna happen? Something outside, man. All right, like the scripture say, the, the Lord has, has never uh, two things, and one of them was a, a a righteous man begging bread, man. So we doing the work for the Father. You don't think we gonna eat? While all you niggas living your life, living your best life, all right? We actually calling our sins to mind, man, and sins to lock you, man. You don't think there's a reward coming to the, for that? You don't think there's a, re a reward coming for your wickedness? Oh, hey, hey, hold on real quick, just to back you up. This Ecclesiastes chapter eight, verse 11, because sentence against the evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set to do evil. You think because you, you've been getting, you think you've been getting away with your wicked works, but you haven't, right? All this, it's like, though a sinner do evil a hundred times, and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Most High, which fear before him. So the blessing is going to come upon the elect. See, right now, this is your, this is your portion. All right? The judgment, is, it must come, man. I said the Lord loveth judgment. So you better be God, man. Uh, but it shall not be well with the wicked. Neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he fear not before the Most High. Going to get great death by pain. Instead of taking this time to repent, all right, like he read in 2nd 16, the Lord, been, he's been merciful. He's bringing floods, he's bringing earthquakes, he's having a protest happen to show you, hey, look, even though people are going against you because you're not right, yet you still don't even repent. Don't show what's happening here. Next, you start out judgment. That's all that's left. Yeah, right. <laughs> Hey, once the military get here, it's just Judge Dredd. Well, it's gonna be it's gonna be war anyway. Right, war anyway, right? You know, like hey, <laughs> look, you ain't gotta worry about the American troops. They're gonna be foreign troops on this soil. Right. All right. <laughs> man, that's how you get that. That's when the, that's when shit get real, man. Not saying American troops ain't gonna fuck you up. My point is, you got the worst enemies. <laughs> right. And the, and the war says it's gonna fill this place. With, with men as with caterpillars. Shit. So you got a garden, you know, you get a vest with caterpillars all over the place, consuming everything. That's what these troops are gonna be doing, man. They're gonna be over here consuming everything. And the Chinese, men are putting it to death. And the Chinese military got the, the biggest fucking army, man. The niggas is damn near like it. Caterpillars. caterpillars. You know, when they show you pictures of their military, boy, it's as, as far as you, it literally look like a sea of people. These motherfuckers are in and they, and they and they ruthless. And they got the technology, with help from Russia especially, but they can get over to American soil undetected. Yeah, because technology a motherfucker now. Well, yeah, they, well, they, they, shit, Russia had it for a while. Undetectable subs, the planes only pop up on radar when they want them to. It's gonna be red dog. Yeah, yeah. Alright, 
Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry, cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. Right, so so we're going to be praising the Lord. Hey, we're praising the Lord now. And like the scriptures say, happy is the man that see the fall of his enemies, man. We see the destruction of these fucking Edomites, these, these fucking white people. Their kingdom is falling. You should be fucking happy right now. These the same motherfuckers that put you into slavery. These the same motherfuckers who beat your heritage out of you. And y'all still trying to be friends with these people. These people ain't your fucking friends. All right? The destruction of America is in, imminent, man. All right? You should be fucking happy, man. I right, we, we happy as hell, man. All right, because not only, not only, hey, in, it's surely our salvation is nearer than we believe. All right, because the faster this place is destroyed, it's the faster this place, the how about is going to come get us, man. Yep, this Isaiah 63, the one. Who is this that coming from Edom with dying garbage from Basra? Which Edom is the so called self proclaimed white man who's really red. That's what Edom means, red. This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness might be the same. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel? Thy garments like him that treaded in the wine fat. I have trodden the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me. I will tread them in my anger, and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments. I will stay all my raiment. So the Lord is going to kill so many people, preferably as if. If he did it physically, his garment would change from white to completely red. All right? Yeah. For the day of vengeance is in my heart. For the day of vengeance is in my heart. No, no. Prophesy. You get delivered out of hell. For the day of vengeance is in my heart. And the year of my redeemed is come. All right? So that's, that's what time this is, man. It's the Lord's coming to bring vengeance to the wicked. It's coming to save his elect. What, what, what's referred to in the world is judgment day. They call it judgment day, still moving without fear. That's what time we in, man. Time of great judgment. Sorrow. He says, the Lord is there, darkness. There is no light. Hey, 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 why, why has, why has uh, uh, bunkers been big, a big part of, of the economy lately, man? Huh? I, millionaires and billionaires have been buying up bunkers like crazy, man. They know what's coming. Because they, they know what's coming. Yeah, how was I committed the, 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 uh, the way to store it, man? All right, Revelation prophesies about how they, they come in themselves to run. It's a hide us. Right. But they know what time right. we're in, man. That's why Costco, when I believe you, Walmart, I could be mistaken. But Walmart, I believe, too, started selling like those uh, yeah. ration buckets. Those emergency food too. buckets. They got to the stores now. Because it, that's what's, because they know what's going to happen. He, hey, man, Esau told I mean, Biden got on the news and told y'all a famine is coming. Yeah, he said, he said, score up. He said, score right to your fucking face. All right? He told you that it was going to be rolling blackouts. What's going to happen when the lights go off? Yeah. You, you, what's going to happen when the motherfucking lights go off? What's going to happen when you can't pick up 911? You can't dial 911? What's going to happen? A lot of you women walking around free with your ass out, with your body out. When folks stepping on the block, iron your ass. Wait. Wait. You know how many niggas is waiting on January 1st? It's a bunch of wicked ass niggas. All right? Hey, I seen, I seen the TikTok. The nigga said, uh, what's, what's holding him back from doing his dream? And he said, the penitentiary. Going to jail. There's a lot of people that want to do a lot of wicked shit, but they can't do it because they, they still go to jail. All right? What, what's going to happen when these bipolar motherfuckers can't get their medicine? All right? When these, when these uh, uh, schizophrenia motherfuckers can't get their medicine to suppress those demons? And, 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 uh, uh, worst of all, they can have all that medicine. They can have it all. The Lord says he's going to choose your delusions. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's so the Lord, the Lord is in control of your thoughts. He'll put them evil spirits right on your ass, man. He's sending the evil angels right to your ass, have you doing some shit. I, I recently somebody just, just started killing. He killed somebody and started, started killing, killing them. And, he, and they asked him why. 
Hey, they, they, they tell you it's common though. They, they, they told me the voice. Boy, these yeah. be regular motherfuckers. I don't know what they just. <laughs> That's what they gotta do. And that urge is so strong on it. They they it's ready for vengeance. They can't do nothing but just follow the urge, man. You know? You got one? I'm uh. Oh, no, I'm just gonna you. Yeah. Well, bring it out. Bring it out. Uh, this is Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. So now it's the high time to wake out of sleep. All right? All right? We, we ain't black. Black is a fucking color. Look at your skin. You ain't black. You brown. All right? That's not a nationality regardless, right? right? <laughs> There's no nation called black nor brown. Hey, we didn't went from... There's from, no nation <laughs> called African. All right? With neither of those things, man. We right. are the Israelites, the, the 12 tribes, the chosen people of, Lo of the Lord. We're here in captivity because we sinned against our Lord. Repent before it's too late. The salvation is coming, but what comes to salvation? Destruction to the unbelievers, man. Hey, hey, this ain't like the Christian. Hey, the, the Christian church been lying to you. You think you ain't gonna see no tribulation? Oh no, you gonna catch it. The scriptures say it, it's gonna try the earth. So you think you think 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 you think you going to church and having them pastors lie to you and, and you living in a lie? You ain't even trying to do better. But well, God know my heart. Yeah, he know you wicked as hell. If he told you not to do something, why would he why would he reward you good for doing evil? That don't make no fucking sense. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe. Right, because now our salvation is nearer than what we believed. Alright? It's almost it's almost over. This hell is almost over. All right? Having our enemies ruling us is almost over. The basis of men, the, the motherfucking default character. All right? Here it is, hey, like Solomon said, he said, I've seen servants upon horses and princes walking in service upon the earth, man. That's gonna change, man. The scriptures say, I'm gonna take you from being a, the, 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 the tail and I'm gonna make you the head. So we're going to come back on top when the Lord redeem us, man. All right? And the scriptures say the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom by force, man. And possess us forever, even forever and ever. You know? So. No. Uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 30, uh, verse 8. For it shall come to pass, in that day said the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck and will burst thy bonds, and sinners shall no more serve themselves of him, but they shall serve the Lord their God, and they with their king, whom I will raise up unto them. So, all right, so, so, I mean, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 evil days come for, 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 um, uh, uh, these two thirds and, and, and the heathens. Guess who, who is going to be good, you know? The, the, the servants of Ahabas and Shai. And, and, and not only that, we're going to be free and He's gonna give us our spiritual powers to uh, to uh, judge all of the earth, you know. And Esau's gonna get put in, in, in this slavery. All right. So with that, oh, uh, you got uh, this is the uh, book of Isaiah, chapter 33, verse six. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Yeah, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding should be the stability of thy time. And the water you have by Shem al for giving us this wisdom, knowledge, and stability of mind in the times ahead that we are living in, you know. The Lord is preparing us for what's about to go down. You know, all these trials we're going through, not only is the Lord giving us uh, 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 mercy, you know, through our affliction, but he's also, try he's also trying us in the head and building us up, you know, for what's about to come. All right, but these people, they, they, they wasn't prepared spiritually, man. All right, because no amount of physical preparation to get you ready for what's about to go down. All right, because we don't understand why this got to happen and, and, why, and why this must happen, all right, before we get delivered, because it's in the scriptures, man. All right, but hey, these people, they have no head, they have no covering. All right, and we know we can't trust the Esau. Hey, he want to chip you and put you to death. All right? You may still get the chip and he'll put your ass to death right there. Right. 
You know, so the, uh, hey, the only thing we gonna do is trust in Yahweh by Shem Hashem, man. Hey, our ancestors, which we we are those men, they always relied on the Lord, man. There's nothing different from now. So that's all I have to say. Let's get one more. Guys, yeah, 10 to 20. Isaiah 10 to 20, and there shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon the stay upon him that smote them. They shall stay upon Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. There you go. That's that faith right there that the brother for God was talking about, man. The elect is going to trust the Yahweh by Shinel Shad, not this place. All right? We're no longer going to go to Esau for one of our things. We're no longer going to stay or lean upon Esau for help, man. And how about Shinel Shad is our help, is our guide, man. All right? Our Lord and our Father. Our husband. Yahweh Shad has laid out his life for us. You think he's not going to save us from his hell, man? The Lord Yahweh raised him up to show he's going to raise us from his hell. So all we got to do is continue what we're doing right now, man. So press it, Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shire, and Spirit of Truth. The Lord shall fight for us, man. All right, so with that, the Lord was edifying. I want to give all praise and honor to him, too. Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shire, Ba'asham, and Yahweh Shire. Yahweh to the Apostle and Elders of Great Millstone. And citation, you brother, pushing this word with truth and saying it with charity. Shalom, and above, above. Above, above.